Hi, I'm Dr. John Chovic and I'm the CTO of SwitchDoc Labs. And I'm here today to give you a real quick introduction to the Smart Garden system to show you how all this works. First of all, here's a picture of the external wireless unit, the unit that actually controls the uh, pumps and valves and also reads sensors in from various plants, connected up to a set of four house plants. Each one of those has a little capacitive water sensor in it, mo soil moisture sensor, and then it feeds information in that, which then feeds it into the Raspberry Pi. So really as simple as that. So let's take a look at a block diagram. First of all, the Raspberry Pi, that cute little uh, credit card size computer, is uh, the central brains of the whole operation. It communicates with the remotes that you just saw in the previous slide, as well as all doing all sorts of configuration tasks, of putting displays up, contacting with Blink, and reading the optional weather expansion kit, the weather sensors, by using a software-defined radio and communicating across uh, 433 megahertz to those wireless sensors. All pretty cool stuff, pretty straightforward. The wireless remote sensor on the left that's what you use to control 5 volt valves like a uh, 5 volt pump that you can plug into a USB port, lights that you can plug into a USB port, and then you have a set of, per in each uh, wireless unit you have a set of four relays which can uh, switch much larger uh, pumps and valves and things like that up to uh, 30 volts DC or 250 volts AC and up to 10 amps on each of those. And that is where you can really expand this to do whatever you want. But you can also just deal with the five volt pumps like uh, many, many of our customers do. Here's what the wireless sensor looks like inside the 3D printed box. It's all been plugged in. You see the wiring is very simple and uh, it fits just perfectly in uh, the 3D box that we provide in uh, some of the Kickstarter rewards. And also we give you all the STL files so you can print them yourselves. The weather sensors are a real neat addition to the uh, smart garden system. This allows you to keep track of the weather conditions for your garden in uh, all sorts of different uh, ways. It has a weather wind speed, um, wind direction, as well as light and UV sensing and rain and inside outside temperature and inside and outside humidity. All those sensors connected wirelessly to the uh, Raspberry Pi and uh, will feed right into your system. We also have something called a garden cam, which is really interesting. That uh, is a camera plugged into your Raspberry Pi that you can focus on your garden and you can send all this stuff up to the cloud with uh, our partner's weather stem, where you can have your garden on the cloud for everybody to see all over the world and be contributing weather information, hyper-local weather information to the uh, weather stem cloud. Now these are some of the SGS displays that are, are produced by the Raspberry Pi. These are web-based, so you can view them on any computer on your local network, or if you're using something called VNC, you can actually display it anywhere in the world you want to look at it. The one on the, the chart on the left shows the current status of the machine. You can see those three green dots there. That means each of those valves is actually turned on that's being displayed there. To the right, this is a valve display. This shows you when your valves or pumps are turning on and turning off during the day. I have this set up so all four of these are turning on and off at 15 minute intervals, hence the uh, replication of it coming across like that as uh, very being very regular. Now this is a really interesting display. This is the display you get from your weather sensors. Now the, uh, you have your temperature and rainfall and all sorts of things, but there's two things I really want to point out. First of all, take a look at that windrose at the top right. This shows you where the prevailing winds are blowing. Most of the time here it's blowing really towards the uh, east. And you can tell that by looking at that curve. Right underneath that, that's the garden cam. The local picture of the garden cam coming, being viewed over our uh, a smart garden system and a uh, whole bunch of uh, peonies. Below that you have some charts showing inside and outside temperatures and humidity and a number of other things. So, what about sensors? Well, when you're starting with the smart garden system, you start with some soil moisture sensors. 
These can be used in your garden. These can be used in plants like we have uh, pictured here. These are capacitive moisture sensors that last a long time. If you want to put them outside where they might get wet, then what you do is you just use some silicon caulking and caulk the top of this above the red line in that left picture, and then you have a, a waterproof sensor. Very inexpensive. Finally, valves and pumps. Oh boy, you can have as many valves and as many pumps as you want connected up to the system. There are really two types. One is things you'd plug into the relay side of things, like this 110 volt uh, pump on the left, or the 24 volt or 12 volt DC uh, pumps that are just come from a straight uh, normal uh, watering system that you can get at any hardware store. And then right off to the right is actually a five volt um, pump that you can use to uh, plug right into the USB ports that are controlled by the uh, smart garden system on the external units. Also, you can also plug uh, um, USB grow lights into this uh, sensing and get the same into the particular output on the uh, smart garden system and get those to work too. It's all included. So it's a flexible, expendable system that can grow with where you want to take your garden or grow system. The weather sensors and garden cam add a whole new set of information to your system. We are seeing the local weather and how it can affect your plant growth, as well as sending that up to our partner WeatherStem on the cloud. And the SGS system is expandable and modifiable by you. It's all open source software. We have Python 3 controlling the Raspberry Pi and the Arduino IDE on the ESP32 in the uh, wireless uh, extender. And those are all open source. You can download the software, modify it to your heart's extent. So there you have it. That's an introduction to the smart garden system. Now I want you guys to go and let's go do some gardening. <laughs>